now that I've finished piping up the flow smart, I just want to explain to you just a little bit about it because although it looks fairly daunting to some plumbers, as a plumber there's nothing here that you haven't come across elsewhere. You can think of it, if you like, like an ordinary cylinder as far as wiring it up from the boiler goes, piping it up from the boiler primaries. This is put through a Y plan, you could put it through an S plan, but you've got a cylinder stack that goes on the side of it. So think of it as an ordinary cylinder as far as that bit goes and you're okay. Now even though this is a combination boiler, we're wiring it up as an ordinary system boiler with a switch live which is coming from the motorised valve. So that's the easy bit. Then we've got the cold mains coming in and it's actually going up to the gas saver first to pick up a little bit of heat from the flue condensate. So that's pre-warming the water as it goes up. Now when it comes down, it goes into the top of the flow smart, which is the thermal store, so that's got the coil inside there. Now, as it comes out through the coil, it's picked up all that heat that we've put in there from the boiler, so it's coming out there a lot hotter than we need it. So that's why we put this blending valve on here. The blending valve, we don't want the customer messing around with that. We're going to set that, say, one and a half, two, but it's going to give us 30 degrees centigrade out of the blending valve, and that will then go into the cold feed in the boiler, just as you normally would. But it's going there, it's been warmed up. So that's how we manage to get the 18 litres a minute out of the boiler as a constant flow rate for even up to half an hour, because it's picking up this bit of energy from here and also the bit of energy from the gas saver. With alpha boilers, you get all the usual fluing options, but because this is a straightforward installation with the flue coming out to the right hand side, all we need to use is the Easy Flue telescopic kit. Now, this comes in 500 millimeters and one meter options, so that gives you a lot of flexibility even from this standard flue. Because you get, in this case, the 500 millimeter telescopic flue, you get the internal and the external ceiling rings and you also get the 90 degree elbow. But I just want to show you an interesting feature with this flume, and that is that you can actually direct the pluming. So if you think the plume is going to cause a nuisance coming out one side, for example, onto a neighbor's property, you can just spin this around and it will direct the pluming the other way. So you may not even need the pluming kit, but also if you're fitting the gas saver, that cuts down the pluming dramatically anyway. So what I'd say is don't go fitting the pluming kit, see what the pluming is like, and if it causes a problem, you can always come back and very easily pop it onto the end of here. With the help of the Alpha Gas Saver, FlowSmart uses up to 25% less gas to provide domestic hot water than a system boiler and a 200 litre unvented store. And it also uses less electricity. Now the Alpha Gas Saver is compatible with all Alpha CD models. And it's also approved by the Energy Saving Trust and it comes with a three year guarantee. There's no maintenance required on it at all. So that's it, we've got the gas saver all nicely hooked up there, we've got the alpha condensing boiler on the wall, and we've got the flow smart tucked away nicely under the unit. We're almost ready to go, apart from the fact I've got to finish fitting the kitchen and also fit the sink, but that shouldn't worry you. If you want more information on any of this system, get onto the alpha website, and you can also get details of their training courses for all their systems and all their boilers. Okay, so that's the kitchen fitted and the boiler's up and running. The customer's quite keen to get back in and take possession of their new kitchen. But before I go, I just want to show you a couple of important points. When we come to commissioning the boiler, we set the temperature on the boiler thermostat to maximum so that the boiler is hotter than the flow smart. That means that we can then set the cylinder stat on the flow smart slightly lower temperature and it means you're not getting a situation where it's cycling. It's standard sort of thing as you would set up a 
boiler and a cylinder thermostat. So I've set that to maximum. I'll just set this one down here. So I've set the cylinder thermostat on the Flow Smart to 75 degrees centigrade, which is cooler than the maximum temperature on the boiler. So the cylinder stat, once it knows it's satisfied the thermal store, will switch the boiler off via the motorized valve in the normal way. Now, you're probably thinking 75 degrees centigrade on a cylinder stat is very hot. But there's no need to worry because that's not actually controlling the temperature of the hot water of the taps. The temperature of the hot water at the taps is controlled through the boiler thermostat itself, just in the normal way that you would on any combination boiler, you set your hot water temperature. Don't forget that we've got the mixing valve blending the temperature down, so even though that's 75 degrees centigrade in the thermal store, it's not entering the boiler anywhere near that temperature. It's just bleeding a little bit of hot in there, just to warm it up. And there's one more thing that we've got to look at, and that's the seasonality valve. You'll remember that I talked about the seasonality valve earlier and saying that that could be used to adjust the water flow rate according to the incoming mains temperature. But because we've got a thermal store, basically it's like summer all the time. The water is always coming into the boiler pre-warmed. So in that case, we can turn the seasonality valve, screw it fully in. So let's just have a look at where that is on the boiler. Normally, with a traditional stored system, you would use more energy in maintaining the heat in the store, some of which would be lost into the surroundings and cost the end user more in energy bills. Well, because FlowSmart works by preheating the incoming mains, this system also eliminates any warm up or dead leg issues traditionally associated with combination boilers. FlowSmart is unique because it provides high levels of hot water from a standard combination boiler. No other competitor can match this performance or efficiency using a standard domestic combination boiler, with the best offering being a 40 kilowatt output, which uses more energy than FlowSmart. FlowSmart is capable of delivering 18 litres of hot water per minute at a minimum of 50 degrees centigrade. In comparison, a traditional boiler set up with a 200 litre unvented cylinder can also deliver 18 litres a minute. But after approximately 9 minutes, the temperature of the water drops to 30 degrees centigrade, or even less. In many cases, this would be classed as unusable hot water. And for this reason, the performance levels of the FlowSmart arguably make it a better option for multi-bathrooms with greater hot water demand. So that's it. The Alpha Flow Smart System, and hopefully the information in this DVD has given you a much clearer picture of how it works. And on a personal note, I've been in this industry for a good many years, and I can assure you that I've never seen a combination boiler which delivers such an impressive flow rate of hot water.